Kia ora whanau, Nia here. Just wanted to do a quick video. Was meant to do it last weekend, but got sidetracked. But no time like the present. So I wanted to do a video on um, CoinSpot. So a lot of people are buying coins off CoinSpot. And when we first got into crypto, what we used to do was when ETH was really um, cheap at the time, we used to just buy the Ethereum. Um, buy the Ethereum off CoinSpot, transfer it to our trust wallet, and then we used to do a lot of Uniswapping. Um, but Uniswap was really, really cheap back then, but now it's like expensive as heck. So uh, we use a lot of Binance. So what I'm going to do today is just um, transfer my ETH into my Binance, and also I've got a bit of Bitcoin in there, so I'm going to transfer that to my Binance as well. And then Somebody was asking about B and B because they wanted to do stuff on um, pancake swap. So we're just going to touch base around on um, B and B as well, and just a little trick that I've uh, my partner told me about with uh, Coin Mark uh, Coin Gecko, um, because I was wondering like where if I can't find it on Binance, like where else can I buy it from kind of thing. So looking at the exchanges. So anyways, um, this is CoinSpot, my CoinSpot, and what I'm going to do is go to my wallet, so click on the three lines at the top right hand corner, click on wallets, and I'm going to go try go as slow as I can, uh, because people say I talk too fast, but so as you guys can see I've got some Ethereum in there, and also some Bitcoin. Okay, so what I want to do is click on my Ethereum. And I actually want to go to my Binance, which I already have. So this is my Binance. If you've got the Binance app, you can download the Binance app. And this coin spot here, it's not actually an app. It's just the bookmark that I've saved, saved to my front screen. So with my coin spot already attached to it. So it's really, really easy to um, for me to access from there. So we're going to go to Binance. And then we're going to go down the bottom here to my wallet. And find my Ethereum, my Ethereum wallet in Binance. So click on Wallets. And then what you want to do is go up to the top and click on Spot. So this is just what I do. If you've got something else going on, all good in the hood as long as it gets the same end result. So click on spot. Now this is this is spot. So wallet, spot, and these are all my coins I hold in Binance. But what I want to do is um, find my Ethereum. So you've got to scroll on down. Probably should have typed it in actually. Oh, heck it up. Okay, so I found my Ethereum wallet in my Binance, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And then what I want to do is I want to deposit. Okay, so click on deposit. And then I want to copy. I want to copy that address. Alright, so click on copy. And then I'm just using this little tab. I don't even know if you can see it. But it's to the left hand, and this is using an Android. So click on that, and I want to go to my coin spot. I want to click on send. Send that. Um, I want to send all that is available. And then you can see it's using the ERC20 network. So send all available. And then I'm just going to hold my finger down. In this area here and then it should come up with the paste so click on paste and then you also need your two-factor code which is awesome I love that second line of defense so if you don't know what a um, what, what a two-factor code is or 2FA it's a, a authenticator app okay that should be another video so I'm going to paste my two-factor code down here, or I could send myself a text message with a code. Same, same. So hold my finger down in the little box, click on paste, and then click on send. So I need to check my e uh, email and verify it. So this is my email. 
and I'm just going to click on this link here to confirm it. Okay, click on the link. Boom, withdrawal confirmed. Continue to dashboard, just takes you back to the front. And now what we have to do is go to Binance and just wait for it to actually drop in there. So just click back. Uh, scroll on up. So this is my wallet, and I just keep trying to pull, hold your finger down on your screen, pull it down, it refreshes, and then wait for the Ethereum to drop in there. And then I can do some, um, I can do some buying because the market's down, so it's awesome time to go shopping. But even though, like you know, I've been buying a lot this morning, so to buy coins off Binance is really, really easy. You just click on the markets down here. And at the top search, if you wanted to buy BNB, you just type in there, BNB. Okay, so with BNB, you can use USDT. Um, that's probably the main one. Yeah, and then so example, if I had USDT in my um, Binance, I would click on, yep, I want to swap USDT for BNB, click on buy, down the bottom here, and then how much um, am I going to buy, and then, and the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the coin gecko, so um, this morning I need uh, Theta Fuel, T Fuel, Theta Fuel, so, oops, I went a bit too fast, didn't I? Let's just reset that coin, coin gecko. So it comes up to here, and what I do is go to the top search bar. Oops, top search bar, and yep, I can write in TF Yule, or as you can see, it was already there. So click on it. And what I meant was, which is an awesome little tool, is see how you've got price chart, you've got exchanges, portfolio, etc. If you click on exchanges, it tells you where you can buy it from. So you can buy it off Binance, um, all these other ones that I don't know. And it's all down the side here where you guys can buy um, this token from. So let's go back and check my Binance, go to wallets, I don't think it's dropped in there yet, no, nah. all good in the hood. So I hope that kind of helped you guys, um, also probably another thing, another little tip is trust wallet, and um, for example, if you click on Theta, okay, and then if you click on this little, um, I don't even know, graph looking thing at the top. If you click on that, it actually brings up the graph. Um, you can go to Explorer or you can go to Market Cap. Um, that's a really good tool to use as well, especially if you're trying to find, um, let's go another coin. If you're trying to find a contract address, oh yep, so you've got Ether. So you look for Explorer, you've got Etherscan there, click on Etherscan, and then scroll on down, and then there's the contract address, you know, so yeah, there's little tricks of the trade, but um, yeah, that's the basics of things, if Ethereum's too expensive, just buy USDT, USDT is a stable coin, so you can buy it off um, CoinSpot, send it to your Binance or to your um, Trust Wallet, it's totally up to you guys. But that's just um, how we got started with crypto, was buying Ethereum, sending it to Trust Wallet or Binance, and then buying our coins. Hope that helps.